Your Lenovo laptop doesn't power up? Here are a few simple steps that you could try by yourself to resolve the problem. If your system is running on battery mode, make sure the battery is not loose and is seated properly. There is a possibility that the battery might have drained completely. To check, try connecting to a power source through an AC adapter. If it is already connected, make sure the connections are firm and secure. You could change to a different wall outlet to rule out the possibility of a faulty power outlet. Swap the AC adapter with another one that is known to be in a working condition. If these steps have been performed and the system is still not powering up, then remove all peripherals like printer, mouse, or any other devices. Press the power button to check if there is any sign of power. It could be the on status of the LED indicator, sound of a spinning fan, or sound of a spinning hard drive. If your system has an optical disk drive, press the eject button to see if the drive tray ejects. If there is no sign of power, then we could try draining the flea power. Flea power, or residual power, is the current that is often stored in the electronic circuit boards which may prevent the system from powering on. To drain the flea power, remove all the power sources like the AC adapter and batteries. Sometimes your system may come with a built-in battery which cannot be removed. That's fine, but if it is a detachable one, then remove it. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. Connect the battery and the AC adapter and try powering on. If it still doesn't work, then it might need additional troubleshooting. You could press the Novo button on your laptop to see if the system starts. Novo button is a small circular button, usually near the power button or on the left side of the laptop. It is provided to recover your operating system in case of OS failure. If the system powers on by using the Novo button, select the option Normal Startup in the Novo button menu to continue using your computer. This isolates the problem to be with the power button. Call your technical support to get further assistance. But trying these simple steps before you call could save a lot of your time. Thank you.